All right, I've got some vinyl finds for you. Little bit of everything. Let's start with this one. This is by Scott Reynolds. It's called Chihuahua in Buffalo. And this came out in 2021. I got the CD when it first came out, but this just came out. This is the vinyl, uh, you know, version of the album on sort of this Coke bottle, you know, green vinyl. This is, uh, as I said, came out in 2021, but the vinyl was just released. Just a great album. Uh, Scott Reynolds sang for the band All. Uh, they were basically the descendants without Milo. And uh, he has this jazzy quality to his guitar playing. It's all acoustic. Uh, he's got this raspiness to his voice, but he has these cool jazz melodies. And, uh, you know, I did a review on this whole album, so check it out. I would, you know, if you're into sort of jazzy, funny, uh, you know, smart lyrics and just great music. Check out Scott Reynolds' Chihuahua in Buffalo. All right. Um, came across this band, Babe Ruth, and this is their album, First Bass. And if you notice the artwork, this is by Roger Dean. And this is a music on vinyl release of a 1972 record. Babe Ruth uh, is sort of like, uh, you know, progressive rock meets just straight ahead rock. But what's really cool about them, they have this uh, singer. Her name is, I think it's pronounced Janita Hahn. Powerful, powerful voice. Almost Janis Joplin-esque. So, yeah, you've got this Janis Joplin vibe over this progressive rock. And it just gives it a real cool sound. Uh, I believe the hit off of here was called um, The Mexican, I believe. But check this out. I mean, if you've never heard it before. And again, Roger Dean artwork. All right, a few Michael Nesmith related releases. Well, the first one is Michael Nesmith. This is his album uh, From a Radio Engine to the Photon Wing. This had the hit Rio on it. But this is such a cool record. I mean, Michael Nesmith continues with the country rock vibe, but he also gets into sort of like a Caribbean thing going on as well. And like these couple other releases I'm going to show you, the bass is very prominent in the mix in these albums. It must have been something that Michael Nesmith liked hearing in his albums, uh, because like I said, it's just that it's got a bassy quality to it that's really cool. By this point, uh, you know, I, I, I don't know how many people were really listening to Michael Nesmith or cared. Like I said, the song Rio was a somewhat of a hit. This is sort of when he was getting into the whole video thing as well, making videos. I dig the record because I love Michael Nesmith. Now, these next two are Michael Nesmith related as well. Um... Michael Nesmith created a record label called Countryside Records, and the label only made two full-length albums, and I have both of them. The first one is by an artist named Garland Frady, and this is his album, Pure Country. This is produced by Michael Nesmith, and Garland actually does a cover of Michael Nesmith's Silver Moon on this record. And I love the label of the Countryside record label. Just very cool. Garland Frady, I had never heard of him. I don't think probably any, you, any of you have ever heard of him. Just really straight up country music. But like I said, with this bass quality to it, uh, almost uh, a, funky, a funky bass behind the arrangements. So it kind of adds this unique sound to it. And to go along with that, the other only full-length album that was released on Countryside Records is by Red Rhodes, and this is the album Velvet Hammer in a Cowboy Band. Now, Red Rhodes was a session pedal steel player. He played on some Monkey stuff. He played on the Nesmith solo records. He also was a session musician for uh, you know other bands and artists as well. This is an all-instrumental album produced by Michael Nesmith, 
and Red Rhodes does a version of uh, Crippled Lion on here. You just hear the amazing pedal steel work. Again, a bass quality to these recordings. OJ Red Rhodes had this psychedelic way of playing the pedal steel that's really hard to describe. Check it out. Um, I think you can, uh, you know, YouTube it. I don't think it's on uh, Spotify or anything like that. Maybe Apple Music, I'm not sure, but you know, very cool to have this as well. And this is, of course, on the Countryside Record label. Now, to go along with country, I'm a big Dwight Yoakam fan. This is a Walmart exclusive live in Austin, Texas. This is a two-record set, but it also includes a DVD of the performance. And this um, was recorded, I'm looking for the year, in 1988, and he does all of his hits, guitars, Cadillacs, um, Please Please Baby, Little Ways, Honky Tonk Man, Buck Owens comes on here for Streets of Bakersfield, he does the tune Buenas Noches from a Lonely Room, and Flaco Jimenez comes on and plays accordion, so it's just a, an incredible concert, as I said, this is a Walmart exclusive release, and, uh, you know, it also has, um, the live DVD that comes with it. Is this on colored wax? Let me see. I can't remember. Yes, it is. Let me show you that. It's on this blue marble. Pretty blue marble. Pretty blue marble. And for the last vinyl purchases, I have to thank Aaron Mutha Alamer for getting me into this band. Caius. I picked up a reissue of their Welcome to Sky Valley album. And I also picked up uh, the album Blues for the Red Sun. Both of these albums kick some serious ass, major Black Sabbath vibe on these records. My only complaint, and Aaron, maybe you can help me out. Both of these reissues are extremely quiet. Is that, were the original releases quiet as well? Like, I literally have to turn the volume up quite a bit to hear them. I don't know. Maybe that's just how they re were recorded. Regardless, if you like Sabbath, if you like uh, just straight up great hard rock heavy metal, check out Caius. And that's what I have picked up over the last few weeks. Hope everybody is good. Adios.